Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and it's time to get these seasonal candles, do the daily quests, the shard events, and the treasure cakes in the Golden Wasteland for today. First up to find is our seasonal candles. We have four total seasonal candles to find today. Each one of these candles will give us 25% of the wax needed to forge a season candle. So there's one little bundle there, and the rest are just ahead. We should have one in front of this broken temple. There it is. That is 50% of the wax. Yum, 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 yum. We have one over here. And then we should have one on top of that broken temple. Just flying up on the left corner. And once again, finding all four of these will give us one total seasonal candle when we forge. Nice! Alright, with all four of these found, let's get started on today's daily quests. Today's spirit to relive is the Fainting Warrior. They're super, super easy. They're just a little bit hidden in the first area of the Golden Wasteland. We're just going to go all the way towards the left, and we can find them behind this pillar. This is probably the easiest spirit in the Wasteland. We just have two checkpoints, and we are done. One is on top of this hill here, and the last one is by that other pillar ahead. I'm too short, I think. Ah. Always too short. We're just going to slide down all the way there to the left side of this pillar. Oh my gosh, again, I am too short. Oh. To meditate at the Broken Temple, we just have to go to the very first area of the Golden Wasteland. This one is super easy to find. The Broken Temple is obviously right ahead of you. All we have to do is sit down, there will be a prompt. We will write something to that prompt, and the quest is done. The bonfire in the graveyard is just past the first area with that one krill. We won't be facing any other krill, we're just going to fly all the way on the right hand side here. Fly over these little mountains, we'll be nice and safe. And just right here we are going to lower ourselves down and we have this little bonfire. To rid the Sanctuary Vortex of Darkness, we first have to head to the Sanctuary Island. This can be done by teleporting from the Nature Guide, or you can fly all the way there, but that would be a very, very long time. Teleporting from the Nature Guide also puts us on the island where we need to be for this quest. So here's the Nature Guide, and we're just going to keep going around the left-hand side until we see a little light creature stuck in the sand. This is a brand new light creature. We just have to burn the darkness, and they are free. There should be a little icon above their head we can press, and this will start to initiate the quest. The light creature will bring us all the way to the vortex. So we just follow them along, deep into the ocean over here. And then all the way in the distance, you might be able to spot some trash. This is where we're headed, and we are going to clean up that garbage. Once you get close, we might have a little cutscene. But it is a skippable cutscene if you need to. Sanctuary Vortex. Skip. And then we're going to head to this boat over here where the Anxious Angler is. You can skip their interaction as well. Basically, they've noticed all the trash in the sea and they're wondering if anyone would pick it up. And that is us. Now we just have to sit down at this meditation spot, and this will start the quest. There's going to be quite a few pieces of trash to collect, and you also have to free some of the manatees. So you can call to spot them if you need to. Otherwise, we're just going to swim around, find them, 
Some of them might be underwater too. So you may have to dive to find some of the trash. And some of them may take a couple taps to actually grab. You might have to rearrange where you are. Sometimes they slip past you. They can be somewhat finicky, but altogether not too hard. We're gonna flee the mantas too. The vortex looks pretty cool. This one kept um, bringing me down and then up when I bread push it. It was very weird. Just let me free it. There we go. And doing that, we'd complete our quest. And as an extra reward, we have this giant shell over here that we can open and get some wax. Yay, quest is complete. Today's treasure candles can be found in the Vault of Knowledge, and our very first one is just beside the four-player door on the first floor. Our second one can be found next to the four-player door on the second floor. Our third one is just behind this gazebo here on the fourth floor. And our final one can be found just to the left of the summit. Today's shard is a red shard that falls in the hidden forest. This one can be found in the treehouse area. So you just have to fly down the first cloud tunnel a little bit. And then on your right hand side there should be an entrance to the treehouse. Of course, this one is a red shard, so we'll be getting some ascended candles upon completion, and we'll get to visit one of these shattering memories to get a winged light. The times for this shard are on the screen right now. This is in PDT or NPST time, so be sure to convert it into your own time zone. Or you can check the link I have right below that will show the shard in your time zone, and it'll also show the upcoming shards. So the shard should fall pretty much around this area. Um, it's a little bit spread out, so it might be kind of tucked in behind some of these trees, but it should be very, very easy to find. And I believe this shard only falls in one location, so super easy to find today. Um, for another angle, you could find it right in front of this bridge here. Now this is a pretty hard shard, and it's actually only added on by the rain. So if it is raining for you, all you have to do is talk to the assembly guide and play the very last seasonal cutscene over. Once you play that final cutscene, the rain will disappear in this area, which makes it quite a bit easier. Alright, and I do have footage of today's shard. I did do this one with some friends, so it was much, much easier. I highly recommend bringing some items to charge you, just in case of emergency. Although there are jellyfish and things in this area you can charge from, if you've done the assembly quests. Otherwise, definitely use some of these shared memory spells that might be littered in this area. They can help quite a bit because there are a ton of these shard crabs. And with the floating shards, it's a little bit difficult. This is definitely a high intensity shard and with all these crabs, ugh, it can be quite a challenge.
For the second part of this shard event, it can be pretty difficult because we have to catch the jellyfish in the air and we have all of these floating shard bits everywhere, so they can definitely throw you into those big red shards that take all your light. It is super easy and of course it is super annoying when it happens. Thankfully I had my buddies with me, it was quite a fast shard event for me. And that is all of the daily changes today in Sky. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I will of course see you in the next video. Bye bye.